Uh, hi everyone, uh, this is Hugo and I'm here to share with you or talk to you about uh, Mebox, which is uh, the very first Android TV product that Xiaomi is launching in the world. And it is our first product launching here in the US. So we're launching or pre-announcing it uh, here at Google I.O. Uh, this product was first talked about at the Google Cast and Android TV session yesterday at I.O. So uh, some of you may have uh, followed it. Uh, will know about it already. And I'll tell you a little bit about the hardware, then I'll show you some of the software as well. Uh, so first of all, this uh, this is a um, uh, pretty lightweight box. It's packing an M-Logic uh, chipset with a quad A53 CPU and a Mali 450 GPU. Um, uh, this is a CPU that's powerful enough to give us, uh, for example, 4K UHD video at 60 frames a second uh, and with the Android and update we're also going to support HDR which is a new trend in video a lot of the content providers like Netflix and Voodoo for example have already started to roll out HDR supporting uh, content libraries it just gives you a much better image uh, better contrast uh, saturation also in many cases um, so it's just a better experience of video um, 4k in particular um, so uh, the other thing I'll mention is uh, memory, 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM and 8 gigs of onboard flash, uh, plus a USB expansion on the back here. So if you have your local movie library at home, for example, you can just plug it right in, download a file manager type app via Google Play, and then you can essentially have infinite storage for movies and you can watch them all uh, through this app. It ships with um, uh, this remote right here. So it's a very simplistic, uh, obviously by design, a Bluetooth voice remote uh, with a voice button right here. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and then we also have uh, an optional, uh, the, the remote ships with the box, of course. And then we have a, an optional uh, Mi game controller, uh, which is a Bluetooth game controller. that supports not only Mi Box, but also any Android device. Uh, so I'll show you that in a bit as well. Um, over to the UI here. So what you're looking at, of course, uh, is Android TV. This is the launcher. Uh, many of you are already familiar with this up here at the top. We've got search, uh, we've got voice search, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, this is the personal, personalized recommendation row. So what you see here are uh, recommendations coming from the various different apps. Uh, the more content you watch, the better these recommendations will become. So the idea is that oftentimes you can just go in here, look at the content, choose what you like, and start watching right away without even having to dip into an app. It'll automatically launch the app and start playing the content for you. Uh, I talked about uh, 4K uh, uh, playback earlier. Obviously, you uh, won't get the full experience through the video that you would get if you were here, uh, but we support 4K UHD video at 60 frames a second. Uh, oops, that again. Uh, and it looks really, really good. 60 frames a second, of course, uh, when you're talking about TVs, it does make the viewing experience much more pleasant, uh, much more fluid. Um, what else I'll show you here, um, a couple of the apps that we're highlighting here, one of them is Sling TV. Uh, what I like about Sling TV is that it is kind of a peek into the future in the sense that um, it's the idea of, uh, I think that they want to upload it, try that again. Uh, it's this idea that you can watch live TV without having to have a set-top box, so you essentially get all of the channels that you get through a set-top box, a cable TV set-top box, or uh, you know, a network box, I think uh, that works a little slow, but for example, I can watch uh, ESPN live. I can actually watch it as if I had a cable box in my home, except all of this is coming in through IP. Um, so this, what you're about to see here, as soon as this loads, is, is actually what's on ESPN right now. Um, this is basically live TV, but you don't have to have, you know, an antenna or a cable coming into your box or any of that stuff. It's just a string over IP. Um, other things I can show you here, oh, I'll show you uh, one of my favorite things, which is uh, uh, the voice search feature. Uh, one of the things that's been talked about quite a bit here at Google I.O. this year is a new Google Assistant, uh, which of course is most useful when you can speak to it. Uh, there's many ways in which you'll be able to talk to this Google Assistant. One of them, of course, uh, is uh, your TV, uh, your Android TV uh, uh, box. We have, of course, have a microphone right here. So today, in simple voice search, I can do things like What's the movie where Jim Carrey gets his memory erased? It'll recognize that, process it, give me an answer, uh, eternal sunshine of his mind. Uh, of course, I can start watching right away, but you can imagine how 
you know, this relatively simple example can turn into many, much more complex things where you're asking questions, you're actually issuing orders to the assistant and so on and so forth. So Android TV becomes an entry point for the assistant. Uh, the other thing that I'll show here, of course, is gaming as well, uh, because at Google Play, there's a ton of games uh, that'll be available in this box. So I can fire up, for example, uh, Bomb Squad, uh, one of the games that we're showing here. On, uh, Jay, which is, was off camera, is going to show it for you guys. Uh, you can come to the camera if you want. Um, maybe, maybe you guys already know Jay uh, from OX. There you go. Uh, and, okay. I'm just going to go off this way. <laughs> Uh, so you get obviously a huge number of games with uh, uh, with Android TV because of Google Play, uh, including casual games all the way over to more sort of action type games. Um, so that's Mi Box in a nutshell. Uh, so this product will be coming to the US pretty soon, and we'll be sharing more details like pricing availability uh, in the next few months. So stay tuned.